Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun and exciting video for you. It's all about Sharon Tate and her favorite beauty products. I actually bought all of these vintage beauty products on eBay and they're the same products that she owned and that were at auction at Julian's auction a few years ago. And this video took a long time to make mainly because it took a while to source all the products. And this facial steamer took me forever to actually get in the mail because it kept getting sent back to the shipper. So I got the facial steamer a few days ago and then I knew it was time to finally make this video. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Laura and this is a channel where I talk about all things vintage. So if you love vintage, then please don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's jump right into Sharon Tate's favorite beauty products. So if those of you who don't know much about Sharon Tate, she was a very popular actress in the 1960s and her most fam famous movie is Valley of the Dolls, where she was actually nominated for a Golden Globe. And that was in 1967. And in 1968, she met the director, Roman Polanski. They actually starred in a movie together. And they actually ended up getting married. And in 1969, she ended up becoming pregnant. And when she was nine months pregnant, she actually was murdered by the Manson family brutally murdered and four other people in the house were actually murdered. But this video isn't going to be about Charles Manson or the Manson, Manson family. This is, video is celebrating Sharon Tate and Vintage Cosmetics. But I just wanted to share a backstory with you about her. And it is really sad and tragic what happened and it's just, just terrible. So I just wanted to kind of let you know and now let's jump right into her favorite beauty products. So first comes first is Sharon Tate's facial sauna. And her original facial sauna was sold at auction for 1,600 US dollars. And this is the exact same one that Sharon Tate had. When I looked on eBay, there was only one available and this is it. And it actually still works as you can see, it's steaming away right now. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is turn the switch and then the red button comes on and then you just add water to it. And then the sauna on button will light up when it's ready and then it starts steaming. I actually haven't used it on my face yet, but I noticed just by turning it on and adding water to it, it's kind of caused it to clean out a bit. So I actually might try it, I don't know, but I think it's a nice piece of vintage cosmetic history. It says on the side of the box that it's the world's first beauty appliance. I also noticed that the model posing with the sauna actually looks a lot like Sharon Tate and now I'm thinking is this actually her or is this someone that looks similar? Um, I don't know. I don't think it is but she really does look like Sharon Tate. It's the first item on the list. And moving on to her lipstick collection. So I actually found these two lipsticks on eBay and they're the same ones that she had at auction. The first one is um, the London Look Frosted Lip Slicker. I don't think they make these anymore. I think they're by Yardley London, but these were very popular in the 1960s and actually on eBay ones, they go upwards of a few hundred dollars. I like flooped out with this one. It has a slight crack along the side. I think that's why it was cheap. I think it was only around $40, which is still kind of a lot for a vintage lipstick. And it actually hasn't been used and it's that very popular kind of coral color of the 1960s and everything's brand new. And I just thought the case was really nice too and iconic. Next lipstick that she had was an Elmay one. I actually didn't realize Elmay is that old. And this one that she had was like a frosted pink lipstick. And this is the same one that she had. Um, this one's so damaged I can't even turn it or anything, but there's literally one on eBay and I happened to get it. So I was really excited by, by that just to kind of complete my video. So this is her. Moving on, Sharon Tate also loved Joven Mink and Pearl Bath Beads. I happened to randomly find this case on eBay. There was other ones with the original bath beads in them for a few hundred dollars. I found this case on eBay. It wasn't too expensive. I can't remember the price exactly, but I just filled it up with replica bath beads. Um, but yeah, this one she had at the auction as well as the Erno Lazlo soap and the, this is a very popular soap and it's very vintage and Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn also love this Erno Lazlo face soap and a lot of the 
bath beads and the face soap went for 3200 US dollars at auction. And moving on to Sharon Tate's favorite perfume, she loves Chanel Number no. 5, which is a very popular perfume amongst many vintage celebrities, including Marilyn Monroe, who also loved Chanel Number no. 5. And this bottle of Chanel Number no. 5 sold at auction for $3,840. Um, mine isn't vintage because I wanted to use it because it's a very nice perfume and I just love it. It's such a classic. The second bottle of perfume that she loved was Jiki. This is actually one of the oldest perfumes in the world. It kind of reminds me of Chanel number no. 5. It's a little different but it definitely has a, I don't know how to explain it but it's not very sweet but it's kind of like a timeless vintage smell. It takes a while to kind of settle with your skin. It's actually quite nice once it settles, but when you first spray it, it feels very overpowering. But I just like it because it's just such a vintage perfume. I wish I included it in my vintage perfume video. But this is another perfume that she loved, and this one sold at auction for 2,187 US dollars. Last but not least is this really nice book I got on Amazon. It's all about Sharon Tate. It's written by her sister, Deborah Tate, and the forward is by Roman Polanski. And it's just filled with really nice photos of her and just unique things about her and her history. I just love looking at the photos. I actually found more, lots of different ones in here and you can kind of see how she does her makeup and everything. And if you're a Sharon Tate fan, this is the book to get. It's a perfect little coffee table book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to include any other celebrities for upcoming videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!